Noodle, are you ready? Oh, you're so dainty. Oh, you're so delicate. You're like a little flower. Not a flower anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to make a cocktail. It's got ice, it's got rum, and it's got Diet Coke in it. Like a medium small bottle of rum, pour it into the cocktail. You could, you know, just kind of stir it around a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dive into this cocktail. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is the show where we find out what everyday items, everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. And I am so excited because this week we are going through a box that was curated by Sarah, and she is an entrepreneur out of Seattle, Washington, who is the founder of The Stemmery which is a monthly subscription service of floral arrangements that you could get sent to your door. And what's great is that each month you get a different array and she uses local flowers if possible, whichever local flowers she can get. What's great about this business, and it's something that Sarah talked about in her Fucked Up With Funder episode, is that she, she always was very good with her hands and she was always making things. She was working a corporate job and she said that she had an Etsy shop where she was making greeting cards, she was making holiday cards. And she loved making this and then one year Etsy like put her shop at the front, the algorithm put her like right front and center on the website and she got tons of orders for these cards and she made them but she said that she started to get a little bored with the repetition of them. So what she loves so much about the stemmery and about this business she built is that every single month the flowers she works with are different. So although they're all arrangements, they are different textures that go together, they are different colors that go together and she gets to really be sort of a new kind of creative every single month when she's building these bouquets. So Sarah, I love what you do. Oh, okay, we're gonna start here because I have a pair of these myself. So these are merino wool socks and uh, they're, they're from a company called Bombas. And what they do is that for every one pair purchased, one pair is donated. So your dollar goes a little farther with these. And I am someone who exclusively wears wool socks. I just, it's just kind of, it's just kind of all I do. I really love wearing wool socks, especially in New York City. Like if you're walking around New York City in an open toe shoe, you're really, you know, you're, you're playing God. So I like to wear boots all year round and they're so much more comfortable when you have kind of a soft, thick sock. Uh, I also think that this probably makes sense for her because she's in the Pacific Northwest and it's kind of rainy and cold and sort of gross sometimes. I can imagine they have to kind of control the temperatures of these spaces and in order to preserve flowers, especially after they've been kind of, the stem's been cut off, I know it can't be like a super hot and humid area, so she tells us that she works sort of in like a sweatshirt and a hoodie every day in work boots. Uh, but I would argue that these are the most important item that anyone can wear. Love these, great addition, merino wool, don't sleep on it. Okay, the next item we've got in here is, it looks like some kind of drinking vessel. It's too much for my small avian brain. What is it? It's sort of, it's just sort of cavernous. Is this a vase? Okay, great. So you guys, this is a vase. I think this actually makes perfect sense because you can have a sort of a more isolated area where you can keep all the stems so that the flowers will bunch together up top, right? If you have a big wide bottom for a vase and you put flowers in it, they'll all kind of fall to the side and you'll have something much sort of wider instead of something a little higher up and tighter. And I know that my arms right now are doing a really great job of kind of providing that visual for you. So you're very welcome for that. Even if you just are someone who loves flowers, you're gonna wanna have something nice like this around your office or your home, wherever it is, so that you can always sort of switch out the plants. And I bet you invest in one really nice vase and then every year that you get, or every month when you get a new floral arrangement, you can just switch them out, depending on how long you're able to keep uh, the original one you got preserved. So this is a great addition to this box, makes perfect sense. And the next item we've got in the stemmery box is, Oh yeah, pruning shears. Pruning shears, so this 
Again, this makes perfect sense that this is in here. And what I love about this is that we really are getting an idea of exactly what this person does. So Sarah, obviously she kind of runs this business, but she's also one of the ones cutting the flowers. And she's the one sort of trimming the flowers and putting the arrangements together. And these are really nice. I have a lot of plants in my apartment. They're not flowers, but I do have plants. And I need to get actually a pair of these because whenever you have a little dead little leaf, you're supposed to get rid of it. And I, you're supposed to cut it at a 45 degree angle so that it grows, so that you can encourage further growth. But I'm one of those people who just like kind of rips it off and it's really bad. Anyway, I love that this is here. Um, I also have a nice little thing on the side that shows all the different things you can use it for, for your nursery, for flowers, for bond, your little bonsai tree. The next item we have in the summary box is, and this is another thing that makes perfect sense with her sort of her whole outfit, I think is, oh, I thought it was an apron. It's not, it's a tote bag. I love tote bags. It's called the Bagu, which I love, that name. Simple and easy canvas tote, 100% cotton, ethically made and machine washable. So this is probably a great, just a great item to have around the flower shop, whether she's going around and she's picking up stems and she's trying to clean up around the space, maybe this would be a great way to do that. Or even if she's just going around and she's buying flowers. It's always nice to have a reusable tote bag. A lot of our entrepreneurs that we feature, um, a lot of their businesses are built on sustainability. She schleps, just like the rest of us. She schleps things around and she needs a cute little durable bag to schlep things in. You and me both, sister. Okay, the next item we have in the stemory box is, oh, I'm not, so I'm not gonna take this out, but it's a little um, double-sided, is it, oh, it's lined. So these are lined pages, um, and it's a little notebook. A lot of our entrepreneurs have put notebooks in there, whether it's for writing down to-do lists or for sketching or for doodling. I know that there's a lot of different uses for something like this, so I bet that Sarah keeps this nearby, probably to keep a to-do list together. Sarah likes to write down her ideas. She likes to jot down notes. She likes to put together to-do lists, and these are all things that she can do in one notebook. That, shock, shock, surprise, surprise, is floral. Love it, love it. And what looks like the final item in the stemmery box is this strangely wrapped item. Oh, there's another thing in here. Oh, there's, oh my God, there's two. Sorry, this is not the last item. What is this? It's wrapped up, so I'm gonna have to rewrap this. This is excessive. I find this excessive. It's a mug. It's a mug. It's a beautiful little mug. So I bet this is just for morning coffee or tea, whatever it is. Um, I bet she gets to work early. I bet it's nice to walk around and sort of see. Imagine working in a place that's surrounded by flowers. She's got her little coffee and she goes, look at my empire. That must be really nice. Um, it also looks handmade. Um, I can tell right by the bottom, this is made by a woman named Amelia. So this is a handmade, uh, maybe an artisan piece. This might be something where maybe she likes to support local artists. She likes to support people who work near her. So this was a wheel thrown mug. Uh, that's also handmade, or is that redundant? She loves the color, she loves the shape, she loves what's inside of it, coffee. Um, and it is, it's just something she loves, and it's a, by a woman that she knows, and it's really beautiful. And the final item we have in the stemmery box is... Oh, it's skin, ooh, grass-fed tallow skincare, lavender and frankincense. Sorry, I immediately took the lid off of this. It smells so good. So this is a lavender and frankincense balm. Noodle, what do you think? Again, beside himself. He can't believe how good it smells. And Sarah uses this, again, she's working with her hands every day. She's cutting flowers, she's arranging flowers, she's in the dirt. Um, so she uses this to help with her skin, with the skin on her hands. She helps to help rehydrate the skin on her hands after she's had a long, hard day. These are really great ingredients. It's got vitamins A, D, E, and K, which I did not even know vitamin K was a thing until a little while ago. Use morning and night to heal skin and nourish your skin, and I bet that's what she does. Okay. That is the stemmery box. I think it's clear that she finally found 
something that she loves to do, something that she's gone wholeheartedly for, and she's totally committed to it. So if you liked this video and you wanna see more videos like it, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all of the Tools of the Trays videos we've posted, as well as some of the other GoDaddy video series that we put up every week, like Made in America and Fucked Up with Thunder. Uh, also, we encourage you to ring the bell on our YouTube page so that you get notifications every time a new video goes live. For Noodle and for myself, we had so much fun doing this. Thank you. I had a great time doing this. I think Noodle was unconscious the entire time, but I know he loves that. So thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you next week.